Hello everybody, my name is Scatter. Welcome back to Leagues 3 Shattered Relics. I have a RuneScape quiz for you, for the more RuneScape-minded people. Have a look at my inventory and see if you can guess what quest I'm gearing up to do. Um, give you a second to think about it. And honestly, I think you either know it or you don't. There's a couple of really iconic items in here for this one. But uh, yeah, in the, in the process of gathering these items, I did get a few uh, tasks checked off. Uh, burning the logs for uh, the ashes, uh, smelting the bronze bar, and spinning the wool. I don't have the skills for any of those things, but they're all level 1, so thankfully I could just do them without unlocking the skills. Uh, but completing this quest is going to give me access to something that is going to uh, give us quite a few points for tasks. And as a hint, I did get myself up to 65 thieving for it. So let's find out what that is. I was, of course, doing Prince Alley Rescue. And with that, we have unlocked the Squirk Garden. I think it's called the Squirk Garden. Um, and that is a bunch of thieving tasks. Also, last time we were here, we were not powerful enough to kill one of these guys. But now we are by far. Like, I hit a 12. Wow. And that is an easy task right there. So let's get into this garden. All right. I'll just tell you, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing here. Uh... There are a lot of tasks though, so I think it's worth doing. So, in easy, we got pick a winter squirk and turn in a winter squirk juice. Uh, for medium, pick a spring squirk and an autumn squirk and turn in 10 spring, spring squirk juices in one go. So I don't actually need to, oh no I do, it's a hard task to turn in 25 autumn squirk juices and to pick a summer squirk and then in elite, we turn in 100 summer squirk juices, which I feel like is going to take forever. I think you need two squirks per, so that means we're going to have to run through the course 200 times. Don't know if that's going to be something I actually do, but uh, we'll have to see. I'll get I'll get most of these tasks either way, but I just don't know really know what I'm doing here. I know the order from sort of um, easiest to hardest, I guess, or lowest to highest level requirement at least, is going to be winter, spring, autumn, summer, which really makes sense as an order. But, um, yeah, I guess let's start off with winter. There is a rune light plugin for spring and summer, but not otherwise. And I think you just sort of don't get caught here is the idea. I guess I can just follow this guy. Nope, that didn't <laughs> work. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to have to get used to the timing, I think. By which I mean I'm going to have to get used to the timing. Um, but luckily, I think I'm only going to have to run through the winter one five times. I'll probably just watch some videos or something. Uh, or maybe I can just do it first try. Um, this would be awesome. Don't turn around, please. I'm sure there's just like two tiles you have to click on at the right time. Oh, don't see me. Okay, it looks like we got to the end that time. I can easily do that five more times. That's fine. I, that one I don't feel the need to look up a guide for. And spring and summer I have the, uh, the plugins. Autumn, I'll probably look up a guide for. But yeah, I guess I'll just be here in this garden picking squirks for the next very long time. Oh, that guy got owned. Try not to follow in his footsteps. Um, and then wait for that to pass. Wait for that to pass. It's not It's not looking good. Oh my god, I can't believe I got through there. Okay, this is... It's really fun to sort of live commentate this, but it's going to get boring, so... I'll stop now and just update you on how it goes. You know what, I actually just noticed that you're meant to get farming XP from picking these. And, like, it seems pretty significant, especially if we're going to be doing it hundreds of times. Uh, you know, it's a couple hundred XP for the winter one, and I imagine the higher ones are even more XP. I don't want to miss out on all that. Um, I'll finish off the winter ones, but I think change of plans. We already have 10 Renown, and we only need 10 more for farming, which should be pretty easy at this point. So, that's the plan. First we get farming, then we get squirking. Alright, so I guess we just... Squeeze these up. Five into a squirk juice. All right. That's okay. Get a little bit of cooking XP for that too, but I'm not super concerned about the cooking XP. I'd like to talk about squirks. All right. 2,800 thieving for just one of the easy ones, and I imagine that's going to scale pretty damn well. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, that's one more task. Let's focus on uh, getting farming for now. Just nine more renown, I believe. Shouldn't be too difficult at all. Well, one thing we can do right away is avail of our extremely good luck we have while fishing and uh, open the crystal chest. 
here in Taverly. So this will be a guaranteed Dragonstone and some other loot as well. Securely locked shut. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Dragonstone, two diamonds, two rubies. I mean, nothing to write home about, but certainly better than nothing. There is a task for using a fairy ring, and the wiki doesn't list any requirements for it, so I wonder if just, like, attempting to use it counts. No? Well, I guess not. I guess that's just a mistake, because that should require the, uh, fairy tale part one partially completed, but... Oh, well, that's just me a mistake. It happens. But we are going to head back up to the wilderness, and there's at least three tasks that can come of this, if I don't get PK'd somewhere along the way. Using the Mage Arena Bank as a task, but also the Mage Arena is one of the few places where you can buy Law Runes, at least at my current level, and teleporting using a Law Rune is a task, and the Agility uh, Wilderness Course is a task, so if we can make our way over to that from there, that would be just fantastic. So that's the plan. Hopefully nobody ruins it. Okay, made it to the Mage Arena. Time to buy some Law Runes. And where's the guy, Lundale? There you are. Law Runes, 18. I can go ahead and just buy out those 18, sure. Uh, death Runes, 180 each. 180 times 50. Is that a crazy amount? Not really. It's like 10k-ish, right? Yeah. So I'll just have that. Actually, you know what? I'll buy 20k worth. I'll buy 100. And we'll just have that sort of uh, chillin'. And a couple Chaos Rune packs as well. Okay. Uh, and that should be fine for runes for now, but let's <laughs> bank all this stuff before going back out into the wilderness. Actually, I'm not even sure if that's where this uh, lever takes you, is to back back to where you came from. Hopefully it does. It does. Okay, cool. There is a guy. He's not going to kill me, though. I mean, he might try, but he probably can't. <laughs> oh, well, he probably can, but it's going to be annoying. It's not like he can, you know, ice barrage me, so it's fine. Let's just make our way over to the agility course. Honestly, I want to say I find it kind of hard to believe that somebody would be posted up at the Wilderness Agility Course just PKing people who are here for the task. You know, given that the the lineup for the Lesser Demon was a thing. But, I mean, like, there's really two types of people in this game, and it does have both types of people in it. So, you really never know. But it looks safe unless there's somebody hiding out at the other end. And I can pretty much see the whole course now, and it looks like there's not. We're good, as long as we don't die on any of these obstacles we should be fine all right it looks like we're good i don't think you can fail this last one so that is going to be a task right there uh that is a medium task so we only need two more medium tasks one of which is going to be teleporting with the law rune so then i just need to find either one more medium or two more easies and we're in squirk town which please don't make me say that again all right let me hit you with the varic teleport and there's a medium task coming in and I'm actually going to head back into the wilderness because there are easy tasks for praying at the southern and the western chaos temples, uh, which I, I unfortunately didn't notice when I was there earlier. That would save me a lot of time now. Um, but if I just hit both of those in quick succession, we should be all set to unlock farming. Just need two more easy tasks, and that should do it there. Okay, on the way there, I got a Quizmaster random, and... If you don't know, this mystery box that you get from it has a 1 in 256 chance, I believe, of giving you a unique cosmetic stale baguette weapon. Uh, so let's see if we get that. It's it's not at all, uh, it, it doesn't at all matter if you get it or not. I like, there's no way there's a task for it or anything, but just a little fun thing. Oh god, I might just die here. Oh, I, I died from the damn chaos druids. Man, I don't remember them being as uh, strong as they were. Okay, let's find some different tasks. All right, there's a task for killing a guard, and there's a task for killing a rock crab. Both of those should be pretty easy. So let's just get those real quick. One. And two. Okay, that's 20 sages renown. Let's grab the farming. I don't think this is going to be too useful yet in the long run, except for the squirk thing. I'm not going to bother doing actual farming until I finish with the squirks, because that'll probably get me to an, an, a pretty absurdly high farming level, so I don't really think of it as uh, it's going to be super useful. But, okay. Squirk time. Okay, so the next task involves the spring squirk juices 
uh, and it's well, not only picking one, but also turning in 10 in one go. I believe each is made with four, so we're going to need to do this 40 times, and I'll have to figure out how this sort of uh, thing works here. So I guess I just click the square whenever it becomes... No, I guess I do them one at a time. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, but that's crazy if uh, it just works that way, though. Wow. So I wait for this one to turn green and then click it. And then wait for that one to turn green and then click it. I mean, it's pretty, I mean, busted, but it's also going to be pretty brainless. So I'm not super worried about doing it. It's just going to be a little tedious. Perfect thing to just throw on some stuff in the background. You know, watch something, videos, whatever. You know, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be kind of chill, I think. I clicked that shit when it was green, man. I don't care. I clicked it when it was green. Okay, maybe I, I need to not cut it close as much. I'm sure I'll get used to this as it goes on, but uh, it's a little bit painful right now. Okay, I just about finished up the spring squirk grind. Um, you kind of get used to the thing. You know, I was messing up at first, but you eventually, you know, like this square is just kind of a suggestion. You can skip straight from that one to that one if you know the timing. And the, the timing on the red and green squares is a little bit janky anyway. It doesn't quite work as, uh, as intended, but you kind of just get used to it. I don't know what it is about this game that, like, I feel very, like, inadequate, like, unable to learn new stuff until I get into it and it turns out being insanely easy. Like, the hardest thing I've ever done in this game is learning Vorkath, and that was super intimidating to me. And then, like, you just get, get a couple kills in and it's like, oh, this is actually really easy when you know what to do. And you just do it enough, you get the timing down. I mean, it's just like learning anything else. I don't know why RuneScape is, like, the only thing I feel that way about. Uh, but before I turn these in, let me just make 100% sure um, that this is how I actually get this task done because I am not wasting all that. So it'll be turn in 10 squirk juices to Osman in one go. 10 spring squirk juices, and this is 10. 3 plus 4 plus 3 is 10, I believe. That's true. So let's go ahead and do that. 108,000 thieving XP. That drop is insane. 65 to 67 and you can see we got a bunch of farming levels from the squirk grind as well uh, Which is pretty cool uh, So now it's time to move on to autumn. I should mention as well. That I got a couple of fragments From that I actually got a miscellaneous fragment and a gathering or harvesting fragment So I got message in a bottle which is uh, cl more clue vessels from skilling uh, and seedy business so chance not to consume your seeds when planting them which seems a little bit weak but that's okay anyway that grind was 40 spring squirks the next grind is going to be uh 75 i believe autumn ones so it's going to be even longer and there's no rune light plug for that one so i guess i'm just gonna have to learn it i'm seeing youtube videos that are like you know one click autumn spring method so i'm sure i can learn it maybe there's no plug-in because it's easy i guess we'll just have to find out all right, I'm just finishing up the first inventory of Autumn Squirks, which is totally arbitrary for the record. I just grabbed some number of uh, beer glasses, but uh, yeah, it looks like I'm going to need seven more. So that's 21, no, wait, no, eight more because this is 17. So I'm going to need 24 more runs of the Autumn Squirk course. It is sort of the least AFK and most um, kind of one you have to pay attention to. There's no one-click method. Um, and there's not even like an extension. Uh, however, I can highly recommend a guide on YouTube by Jim Jams. If you just look up Autumn Squirk tutorial, you should find that one. That's by far the easiest one. Um, and let me just run through it on here. Just maybe this will help uh, anybody who's maybe too lazy to look that one up. So this one here, you want to wait until it hits the left wall. The second it hits that left wall, you're going to click on this tile up here. So right now, and you're going to run straight there for the next one. You want to wait until it's walking up, crossing this tile that I marked here. And you want to click when this one is approximately in between these two tiles. So right now is not a good cycle. Um, next one will be fine. This will work. It's a little bit late. And so you want to click here again when this one is walking sort of in this left tile. And then that'll work. Um, this one you pretty much, like the tiles don't really help a whole lot. You kind of just have to get the timing down. Like I do have some marked tiles, but this one is definitely really useless, but, 
Um, it's not too bad to sort of go straight to the end. So that's kind of the rhythm I've got into here. It did take me a couple hours to, you know, fully get it down. And I mean, I, I say fully, I still do get caught sometimes. It's definitely not uh, that bad, but it should be approximately about a half hour here until I'm done and I can move on to summers, which do have a one click method. And I'm excited because that's going to be much easier than this, I think. All right, we're just closing in on the last autumn squirk. And I need to free up some space here. Just get all those done in one go. And then by the time this cycle comes around, we'll be done and we'll be able to make the very last one, turn them all in and get the task done. Yes, wait till you have enough fruit. Just be patient, be patient. Okay, hopefully <laughs> I will never ever do that again. Uh, you know, it really, it wasn't that bad. You know, I'd probably rather do that than Rogue's Den, even though Rogue's Den also isn't that bad. It's just annoying because of the randomness. But, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, uh, glad that I, I did it for the, for the points. And I mean, I, I can't say it wasn't fun. I cannot say that. Uh, I can't really say it was either though, but let's just grab the rest of these out. I'm, I'm fairly sure I have 25. I'll probably deposit these seven just to make sure, even though I'm, I'm so insanely sure. And I'm even going to do something that I, I definitely don't want to do, which is not even check the task because I should be confident that the task is turn in 25 at once, which I'm about to do. It's going to be such a massive thieving XP drop. And let's see what's up. Let's see what's up here. It's 470,000 XP. Let's go. That's a hard task all the way up to 73 thieving. That is the funny number. And we can get started on the summer squirks, which I'm going to need 200 of the fruits for 100 drinks um and that's going to be rough obviously the the task is not for turning all those in at the same time because you can't do that because you only have 28 inventory spaces but uh i should have exactly enough inventory space to do four inventories so if i fill with the pestle and mortar and 25 glasses then i'll have two inventory spaces left over for the fruit and then that means that i can just do that four times it'll probably take a few hours it'll probably take most of today honestly um, but hopefully it's going to be easy. We'll see how the one click goes. Okay. So there is, that was a hard task. Picking a summer squirk was a hard task in itself, which is kind of crazy, but, uh, there is a guide to using this add on on, um, YouTube by Robbie RS that I definitely recommend. Uh, but basically what you want to do is just wait until this turns blue and there's a countdown in the top left for that. And then when they line up, when the blue squares line up, uh, then you just click on the tree, and assuming that the other guards are in cycle, you should get it every time. And that's what the numbers on the guards mean. It's how many times you have to get caught by them in order to get in cycle. Now, because this is relatively crowded, I think has staying in cycle for a while is not really going to be realistic, which kind of sucks. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Maybe I'll try and hop a little bit to find like a, a deader world. Not really sure, but clearly not everybody is sort of using the same method, which does suck here. Yeah, I mean, like, this guy's going to go get... Okay, maybe, maybe you just want to line up that guy, so maybe he's actually doing a favor, but... Yeah, so I might get caught by this one guy. I know you think it says one, and you that means you won't get caught, or it means you will. Sometimes, apparently, like that, you don't get caught, but everything else is zero, so I should be fine now and get straight to the end. And if I can get this to work consistently without, you know, people messing it up, this really shouldn't be too painful. Um, I imagine it's going to take a few hours to get 200 of these. Uh, but that's completely okay. Um, it's kind of chill, and I don't really mind too much. If I can catch this one cycle, then should be good to go. And there we go. Okay, so yeah, if we can keep doing this, then we're golden. All right, it took a little while, but I think I finally found a world where people actually know how to do this method. Because um, the thing with a method like this, you know, one person misclicking sort of ruins it. So I'm trying very hard not to be that person, but um, this world seems really good for it so far. People know what they're doing. We got we got the whole gang here and uh, even tons of people who played last league, which is cool to see. This world did like 20 in a row. That is what we like to see. I hopped so much, man. And I think I, I finally found my people. All right, I'm just coming in here for the final run of Squirk. 
And uh, yeah, it's been pretty okay. You know, it hasn't been perfect. The one click, you know, you get some people coming in who don't know how to do it. And if they get caught, they mess up the cycles. Um, I, I do find that I have to anticipate the zero a little bit. It's probably just my ping. So I, I'll click like there and that works. And you can see that guy went a little bit early. But it's, it's kind of cool too, because if it gets messed up, then like, you know, the, of course I get caught in that one. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, the, uh, but, but uh, yeah, so like say this, this guy at the end is like poised to catch someone, right? But if everybody runs at the same time, then they can only catch one person. So like the group I was in earlier, this one does seem a little bit less uh, friendly uh, than the group I was in earlier, but there was kind of a, you know, a, a, a feeling of like, you know, let's all run together. They can only get one of us. Like, good luck, everyone. Only one may survive, you know, or, or you know, the opposite of that. But uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. Hopefully I make it this time. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, just coming into that last one. This guy, I think, is going to catch someone. Oh my god, no, he caught me. <laughs> no. Okay, but now we're clean. Now we're clean. All zeros. So if nobody messes up, if nobody messes up, then this is the run for sure. I just find it crazy that this plugin exists, honestly. Like, the one-click method on its own is pretty crazy. And then the plugin that has, like, uh, there's so much stuff going on that, uh, you know, it's like, how do they, how do they make that? I don't know. It's crazy. Anyway, that is 100 squirk juices total. And that means we get to turn them all in. Now, what, what I could do is wait until I have 12 times or even 16 times XP to turn them in. I am almost to tier 4. I don't get the next XP boost until tier 5. So I think that's a pretty bad idea. I think we are going to want to turn them in uh, right now uh, for the task. I think it's a hard task. So that's 100 point no it's an elite task i think so i don't even know how many points that is but hopefully it's a lot let's find out okay there's drop number one of six hundred thousand xp drop number two i'm trying to do this pretty fast so that i can uh wait why was that more achieve your first level 80 level 81 check that out and what do we got deeper pockets higher very cool stuff looks like i accidentally turned in an extra one but that's okay that's totally okay all right, coming in with number three, and this one's going to be 648. We got another fragment as well. I wonder if you can ever get two fragments dropping at the same time if there's like multiple rolls. That probably was, it's probably just a roll per XP drop, I imagine. But now we're coming in with the final inventory of Summer Squirk Juice. 528k. Tier four. Okay, that is a lot more points than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. 85 thieving. Wow. 125 points from that, and we got all the way up to tier 4. 120 tasks completed, 21 sages renounced. We can even go ahead and unlock a new skill. We got the Chin Chonkers fragment, and uh, I should uh, point out as well that during the Squirk Juice uh, thing, we also got CD Business Certified Farmer uh, message in a bottle, now Chin Chonkers as well, which Chin Chonkers is pretty useless, I think. Uh, but, you know, maybe if we do some Hunter it will come in handy but uh yeah that means we can unlock a new skill and i've said before i don't want to unlock attack without strength or vice versa we, we do have range so fletching could be something we do have mining could also do hunter and fire making should probably only do one at a time i'll tell you what i'll have a think on it between episodes and i'll end this one off right here and uh, i'll go ahead and clear that bank space and uh, i couldn't take the pet to the sorceress's garden so i'll go ahead and take her back out now but uh yeah that was a that was a very long time you know watching youtube or runescape content creators you know you think like you know oh it's like a 20 minute video and you think oh it probably encapsulates like a few hours and it's like yeah i i, I did the squirks for a long time probably like six hours total <laughs> and hopefully it was pretty painless to watch but it was certainly not uh painless for me but that is my cross to bear in any case uh if you made it this far Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.